For close to a year now, five Durham parks have been blocked off because of lead in the soil. And tonight we're learning more about what it will take to fix that issue. CBS 17's Galat Malaman is live in Durham, where new fencing just went up in the recent weeks. Galat. Yeah, and from grassy areas to playgrounds, much of Northgate Park is fenced off. Tonight, State Department of Environmental Quality leaders say there's still months more of investigating to be done here and at the other four parks. And they say it's going to be until about the end of the year until they have recommendations on how to fix this. A small patch of grass outside the many fenced-in areas will have to do for these soccer players. We used to play... Uh, just north of the playground where there's a larger grassy area, um, but that part is now fenced off. The North Carolina Department of Environmental Quality is doing more testing in soil at five Durham parks after the EPA lowered its standards for lead in soil near play areas. Northgate is one of five Durham parks where Duke researchers discovered lead in the soil about 10 months ago. Before the closures, Taylor Knapp and his family came here three to five times a week. I mean, not having your local like walkable park available is a... Definitely a disappointment when you have young kids. The disappointment grew last month with playgrounds at all five parks closing out of caution. They weren't tested originally since the parks department says things like mulch are a barrier between children and soil. The Northgate Park, it's a beautiful park. It's really sad to not be able to utilize it. Now Duncan Webster and his children have to go elsewhere. We've had to go out of our way. We go up to Duke Park, but it requires uh, passing over Highway 85. So it's with two kids in a stroller, it's it, in... No shade. It's a little, it's trying. But once we're there, it's fine. So when will the fence-filled parks be fine? In a virtual meeting Wednesday night, Durham Parks and Rec and NCDEQ leaders gave an update on the work so far and what's left. They say soil testing, including at playgrounds, is expected to continue through July. While Webster says it's an inconvenience, he understands the closures. We trust that they'll find the right, they'll do the right thing and open it up as soon as it's safe to play. The city manager allocated $5 million to this problem in her proposed budget, but DEQ says the full cost of what it'll take to fix this is still unknown because it's not yet clear what the solution is. Live in Durham, Gilat Malamed, CBS 17 News. All right, Gilat, thanks so much. Appreciate it.